Jeremy Hardy speaks to the nation. <laughs> and then, if I'm speaking to someone who's upper middle class, I become fantastically RP and say fewer all the time, even when it's wrong. <laughs> Going to the Henry Moore exhibition? I think you mean the Henry Fewer exhibition. <laughs> As a community leader among London's vibrant Scottish diaspora. What was that word? Uh, diaspora, it means. No, I know that one. Vibrant, what does that mean? <laughs> it means, uh, well, it's the opposite of normal. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time we make our presence felt with our own carnival. Will it involve a lid display of thighs and jiggling body parts? Uh, there will be kilts, yes. <laughs> Between Chaucer's time and Shakespeare, a fashion started in London where all the good fellows like Bath and Bus went a bit crap and became Bath and Bus. Now, Shakespeare was one of my lot, but he probably went a bit theatrical in London, which would have made for interesting conversations when he came home and walked into his local in Stratford-upon-Avon. And I believe we have an actual transcript of one such conversation. <laughs> we have. Moray, here we go. All right, Bab, how was that there, London? Oh, darling, it was marvellous. It was what? Marvellous. So you mean Boston? What's happened to your accent, Bill? <laughs> it's William from now on. I think I've found the real me. Well, I think the real you is a nonce. You call coming here talking like that. Go on, get out on it, you bard. Why, thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's started. Oh, sorry. Uh, hi. Hi, I'm Jilly. I'm six months old and I'm a full-time hummingbird. I've been doing it a while and I really love it. In fact, I think I was born for it. Uh, I, I was looking for a husband who's great at flying, good at killing worms and uses a bird bath at least once a week. Oh, uh, and if you keep me tone deaf, that would help because I'm very bad at singing. I just hum because I can never remember the words. <laughs> if you like to look at my beak, then message me at Flying Feathered Friend. Com. That'd be lovely. Hey, mister, where'd you learn to drive? Tijuana? You drive like my grandmother, Consuela Yolanda Evita de Gugliamo. And she did. Well, they say that being a praying mantis means I'm a man eater, but you can't stop nature, can you? It makes it a bit tricky trying to meet someone new, and, and let's face it, pheromones can only get you so far at my age. I'm past me prime now, nearly ten months old. It's really, really hard trying to meet somebody when that sexual cannibalism rumour spreads really, really far. I don't eat everybody I've mated with. Not like Julie. She's terrible. She's always been a gutsy cow, that one. Greedy for the men too. She's into interspecies. Oh, yeah. She'll sleep with anything with six legs, that one. Gives us girls a bad name. Makes it difficult for the rest of us. So that's why I've joined iHarmony. Insect harmony dating. I know you're not meant to lie on your profile, but I've just said I'm a six month old grasshopper. You know, it doesn't scare them anyway, does it? <laughs> well, my name's Buddy May. I'm 92 or thereabouts. Now, I never did learn to read, but I can read the stars. Well, I did until the Nebula Constellation told me I'd be a six foot blonde catwalk model next week. Bullshit! The stars are full of crap. I see that you are in this bar alone. Well, you may join me, but only if you promise to be a bad, bad boy. <sighs> oh, well, I've been exercising eight hours a day all my life, and I just can't shift this weight. People think it's a compliment to call you cuddly when you're a hamster, but it just adds insult to injury. I'm never going to be a catwalk model at this rate. Sometimes I think I'd rather be in a lab smoking cigarettes. At least I might lose some weight then. 